Welcome back to Dota Underlords, folks. I have had a bit of a setback. I had a couple of disconnects due to bad internet out here in Bangkok, I guess. So I dropped down from Smuggler level 3 to Smuggler level 1, which sucks. But it is what it is. I'm hoping to get this... Uh, 200 critical attacks pretty soon, that would be nice. And what's this? Evade 400 attacks for 1000 XP, that would be pretty nice. So, yeah, we have unlocked level 2 and level 3, and hopefully level 4 will be coming very, very soon. So, let's jump into a game and see what we can do. Let's see what we get. I think we'll go with... Hmm. Tinker. Tinker is nice. What is everyone else getting? Tusk, Batrider... Tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm the only one going for the inventor, so that's good. If there would have been a druid, I would have gone for that. Just because getting two druids early on is really powerful. Because you, it guarantees a two-star unit. Okay, let's see what we get to choose from here. Uh, we are going to go with the Embarrassment of Riches, of course. Putting that on round one is really nice. Gives us an extra item to choose from on all the loot rounds. Um, let's see. I think we're going to go with Bat Rider and Shadow Shaman. Should have gotten the two Shadow Shaman. Oh well, too late now. Okay. So, I'm not really sure which direction I'm going to go in on this one. We'll see what happens, what we get. So there's an unstable reactor. That's not bad. The best thing there, I think. So let's grab it. There's a couple of tinkers. That's pretty nice. And we'll grab the Shadow Shaman as well. Okay. We did get the evade 400 attacks. So going elusive might be an idea. Just to get that. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Which does mean that we won't be using the unstable reactor long term, but Short term, it will be a handy little boost. Mm, I think I'm going to go with the Vitality Booster. And stick it on him. Okay. Another Tinker, and I guess I'll grab the Anti-Mage. Because he is elusive. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, so go... Maybe even 9 elusive. That could be pretty good. I think.
think we're gonna win this one. Fairly certain. Yep. Good win there. Good win. Hmm. Let's see what we get. There's another tinker. And then I think we'll do this. And I guess we'll get clockwork as well. And we'll stick in clockwork. And... I think another tink. For now. Because of the unstable reactor. Really? That is quite good early on. That's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. See what's next. Hmm. So all three of our inventors here are getting plus 15 HP regeneration, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. Hmm. There's another anti-mage, we'll get the Trent and I don't think I'm gonna get the Bat Rider. I wanna get rid of Bat Rider. I actually think I'll do this and sell these three. Okay. So I think we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. We are gonna win this one as well. And there we go. Tink, of course, did the most damage. He is two star. So nature's profit would be nice now because that's another elusive, which would give us plus twenty percent evasion. And the Druid bonus. But we did not get that. There are two pucks though, which I will get. And we stay above 10 or at 10. So we get one bonus or interest gold. Which is good. We could actually do this. Because that gives us the three elusives. I think that'll be worth it. I'm not 100% sure though. Grant went down fast. Okay. So, I think we're doing okay here. I think we're gonna win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Take with by far the most damage. 2500 is pretty damn good. And the closest was 831 on Puck. And we are wind streaking as well, which is really nice. There is the Nature's Profit. Fantastic. That is really good. Because now one of these two will be a two star. I suppose I'll grab clock back.
I mean, it isn't really in the card that we're going to get Tinker to 3-star because we're basically going to drop Tinker at some point. Or more elusives. But I think we'll go for it for now. Come on, die. We are gonna win. I think. Yeah. There we go. It's a little bit closer than it normally is, but that's fine. Still wind streaking. Now we're on a two wind streak. Ooh, Shadow Fiend is really, really good. I think you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this and sell these two because we're not going to get three star tinker. And we'll stick in puck. There weren't any, any elusives there, were there? No. Okay. So three and two is really, really nice. We're doing very well at the moment. Very well indeed. Okay. Let's see what we get. It's uh, loot round now. So no need to go overboard. There's a Luna. We'll pick her up after the round starts. we get our three interest gold. The moon comes. There we go. Because as I think I've mentioned, uh, the Gold locks in at the start of a round, so as long as you have 30 gold when combat starts, you do get 3 uh, uh, interest gold. Alright. I think, do I want Luna instead of... Hmm, I think we'll do Brooch of the Aggressor. And stick that on you. And I think we'll do Luna instead there. Oh, there's Pug. Puck. And Phantom Assassin as well. Very, very nice. So we could actually go up to six elusives, but that would mean losing Tink, who is by far our biggest damage dealer. Oh, I think I'm going to hold off on that. Ooh, this is going to be rough, I think. I think this one is going to be rough. Yeah. That's a loss. Two blood seekers. That was nasty. Okay, so win streak is over, unfortunately. Unfortunately. But we had a good start. And there's Templar Assassin and Luna. We will be getting the Templar as well once we start the round. I think I want Templar in instead of... Actually, I want Phantom Assassin in instead of Anti-Mage. And then I think we'll stick in 
The Templar Assassin instead of Tinker. Maybe. It is a one star instead of a two star. And instead of our biggest damage dealer. Which could prove to be a really bad idea, but we'll see. We did okay. It wasn't too big a loss. Hmm, are we gonna do this? I think we are. And we'll give the Templar... There's another Nature's Prophet. Very nice. And we'll sell Tinker. So now we have plus 45% evasion. Which is very nice. And I'm going to go for all nine elusive units, I think. Yeah. Or 75% evasion. That is going to be very, very nice. Those blood seekers are really frustrating. Black Ice is doing very well. Oh, he lost this time. Good. We're still attacking down here, what? And we won. Okay, what do we have? Nothing really. Hmm. No one I want here. Okay. We'll just. Keep our gold. And I think in two turns after round 15, I think we'll go up a level so that we can have seven units on the board and get higher ranking units as well. Okay. We're gonna lose again. Unfortunately, I think Wind Ranger, you're elusive, right? Yeah, I want Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger is really good. That would be a good unit to get. A dog and pony show. There's another phantom. You won't be disappointed. Two of you, a thousand five hundred and fifty. So yeah, you are going to stay there in the front line, which is the back line in this one. Hey. Okay. So I don't actually know if we're gonna win this. I kind of doubt it. I kinda doubt it. Okay, we're doing okay, I think, for now. There goes the big dog. So that's good. Yeah, we are gonna win. He's back in the front line again. Let's see, elusive units are visible for the first three seconds. We are definitely grabbing that. That was perfect. That was exactly what I wanted. All right, there is nature's profit and vent. And I think we will do this. And we will stick in, do no. Uh, Anti-Mage. 
So that invalidates the opponent's demon bonus, which is nice. AG Blood Tear. Okay, nice. We took down his Nature's Prophet before he even got a shot off. That's pretty cool. Definite win here. No, I didn't. Alright, so this is looking promising. This is looking promising. Both our druids are level 2 now, effectively. Get one more triant and we will be have a level 3. Nothing I want there. There's another nature's prophet. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Your names are on my list. So this going invisible is just so nice. So nice. We didn't do that much damage while invisible this time, but it does give a definite edge. But we are gonna lose this one, it looks like. Oh yeah. Definitely a loss here. But not that big of a loss, so that's good. And we should be evading a lot of attacks. Or the XP on the Proto Pass. Well, that was OBS gaming, that guy. We still have plenty of health left, so that's good. Let's see what we get. Oh, there's Wind Ranger. I love that. And Mirana. So that's actually all nine. So. What I really want to do now is level up. That is a possibility of nine elusive units on the board for 75% evasion. That would be pretty sweet. It would be sweet getting a lot of them to two star as well. I think next round I will stick in Wind Ranger instead of the Anti-Mage. She's just a better unit, in my opinion. Okay. Come on, kill something. That Chaos Knight just won't go down. That's annoying. Kill the Chaos Knight. Hmm. Both Chaos Knight and Witch Dark were extremely close to dead. Nothing I want there, so we'll do this. Almost up to 8 units. Next round. I think... Maybe Dragon Knight would be nice for the last unit. Yeah. I think so. Oh, I forgot to put Wind Ranger in instead of Anti Mage. Dang it. Wind Ranger is a much better unit than Anti Mage, in my opinion, so. We are going to do that now. Or Mirana, actually. Mirana, I guess, is be even better unit. She's a 4 cost, and Wind Ranger is only a 3 cost. I also could put Luna in instead, or Wind Ranger in instead of Luna. Mm. 
There we go. That's eight units on the board. The Wind Ranger is coming on. And then we just need one more so we can get Anti-Mage in there as well. And get up to 75% evasion. I think I want Dragon Knight for a 10th unit if I get that. If I get to 10 units. I think so. Yeah. And, whoa. Mages reset their cooldown. Nah. We only have one mage, right? Yeah. I think we'll go blade mail. And give it to you. So we're at eight units. Let's do a bit of rolling to try and level up some stuff. There's anti-mage too, so he goes on now. There's a Wind Ranger and another Anti Mage. We'll get both of them when the round starts. Thanks for picking me. You're welcome. Okay. Ooh, he has Terror Blade. Terror Blade does a lot of damage, but he's dead now. That's good. I think we're gonna win this one. Yeah. This sugar. Right there. So one more Mirana, one more Wind Ranger, one more Luna, one more Triant, one more Phantom Assassin. There is a lot of stuff that just needs one more. There's Phantom. Well, that's good. There's nothing there. Okay. We'll stay above 50 and get our 5 interest. We are starting to get a few 2 stars, so that's nice. Would be really nice to get a tree ant for a three star. He took down Slark before he got a, an attack off, which is good. We need to get we need to get that uh, Bloodseeker down, and he is just healing up because he's getting all the kills, which is very annoying. Very annoying. We did take down. One more unit in the end. It is a three star Bloodseeker. Move you over here. Okay, nothing we want there. So, you know what? Let's do this and get up to nine units on the board as fast as possible. Actually, we will do this, and then next time we will do it again, and get up to 9 units on the board, and 75% evasion, that should help a lot. So next for 30% evasion uh, over what we have now. So I think that'll be good. Oh, there goes the uh, Terra Blade instantly, very nice, before he did anything. Very good. All right. Thank you. We are down to 38 health, which is a little bit worrisome. And Black Ice keeps repelling us. It feels like we're attacking Black Ice Ball pretty much every time. Okay, so 50. Let's do this, and we'll go down, and we will stick in our last elusive for 
75% evasion on all our units. That should be pretty good. There's another PA or a mm, Templar. We'll grab that. Alright. Okay. How are we doing here? I think we're gonna lose this one. What do we do? Yeah. We are. Darn it. Last battle was a setback. Nothing more. It was a big setback. 14 health setback. Hmm. There's another anti mage. Hmm. Would actually be very nice to get Dragon Knight as well. Because he synergizes with Puck and with Luna. So that would be two extra synergies that we get with Dragon and the Knight. So, yeah. That would be very, very nice. <sighs> That's pretty sweet. Especially if we get Dragon Knight too. But I've got, I have Scotty. Nothing we want there. And we're at 40 gold, so we'll just leave it as is. And I think we will give this to... I think to Luna, because she has the bouncing attack. Yeah. So she'll be slowing more than one enemy's attack. This is our comeback. Which will be useful. Okay. So Tusk is, was half dead before he even started. Alright, this is a win. A big win. We're attacking Sugar, which I suppose will be a big win as well. Yeah. Very nice. Eleven health he lost there. Okay. Alright, so we're up to fifty gold. And there's nothing that we want. But it is time to start rolling and get some level ups. I will grab you as well once the round starts. So that's a level three druid. That we'll get now. We will hold the line. Well, that's very good. And we got Wind Ranger at two as well, which is fantastic. And she took out the Bloodseeker, which is also fantastic. And how are we doing on the rest here? I think we're winning. I think we're winning. We are winning. Big time. Outstanding. Outstanding. And that was against Black Ice. So, and we won on his board as well. So things are looking up. Things are looking up. They needed to. We're down to 24 health, so... Come on. 
There's Mirana. We will grab her right now, even though it'll cost us a gold. That's so basically we need one more Luna, one more Templar, then everything is level two. And one of the druids level three. And it's the good druid that we got on level three this time, I think, in my opinion. Alright, tusk down. Oh yeah. This is going really well. Fantastic. Nine elusive seems to be working. How are we doing against this guy? Uh, we're winning here as well. We are winning here as well. Big time. I think he's out now. Taking us down to three players. Yeah, he's out. Let's see. This guy is... The problem right now. Let's grab Mirana and stay above the 40. Yeah. Mirana 3 is a dream, but... It could happen, you never know. Oh, we're up against... Our Bane. Okay. Let's see how we do against him. I don't think we're gonna do well. That was a bad boat from him, so that's something. But we are gonna lose. We're gonna lose big. We might actually lose big enough that we're out. If I fall, who will protect the temple? No, we're not out. That's something. We did win against Black Ice. I think we need to try and do a little bit of repositioning somehow. There's another tree ant. Which I wouldn't mind getting actually. But we don't really have room for anything. What we can do is this, and get up to 10 units on the board, and we'll stick in another Mirana, for now. I shouldn't have done that this round, but never mind. Who is our biggest damage dealer, actually? Phantom Assassin is doing very well, Wind Ranger, Treant. Okay. Mages, Refresher, or Dagon. Hmm. I think we'll get the Dagon. The Refresher Orb is really nice as well, but... Okay. We'll grab the tree ant. That means we're selling you. We'll grab the Phantom Assassin. Nah, let's not grab the Phantom Assassin. It's unlikely. We won't be getting uh, him to three anyway. What I really want is a, a Templar Assassin. We're up against Black Eyes. That's fine. Down goes the Ogre Meiji. And those evades are so nice. Really, really nice. We're just evading, evading, evading. It's great. If we do see a Dragon Knight, I will get him. Instead of the last Mirana on the board. The one star Mirana. So all three of us won this round. That's pretty weird.
where all three of us defended. Uh, two, three star puck would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. One more Luna, one more Templar would be fantastic. Up against Black Eyes again. So we should win again, I guess. Would be my expectation. We are. We're not doing as well as we were last time. Did he get something? I guess he did. But we are winning. I think. Whoa. Nope, we lost. Darn. I don't think we're out though. Nope, we have one health left. One health. Whew. And so we're rolling to try and find something that we can use. This Templar. And Luna. Nice. Never forget what's at stake. That was pretty big. That was pretty big. I'm thinking maybe we should stick the two star three hand in instead of the one star Mirana. I think would be good. This was enough to win this round. And we are attacking him. He is winning that. So what can we do? I think I will do this. And I'll actually leave him down here. I think. Yeah. Another Mirana. Mirana 3 is just not happening. So let's do that. And look for a Dragon Knight. Okay, who are we up against? Ooh, I-520. This is gonna be the end of us, I think. I'm fairly sure. So, yeah, this is the end of us. Definitely. Ouch! Okay. Third place finish. Too bad. That is too bad. Hmm. But we did level up to two again. So that's good. Alright. And we're almost at the level four reward. That's something. Let's uh, see what they do here. Oh, they're done. Who won? He did. Oh, no, they're, they're still going. I'm guessing that I-520 will win. I would be surprised if he didn't. What kind of synergies does he have? He has, wow, he has a lot. Two Savage, Demon, two Humans, two Scaled, two Heartless, three Hunters, six Warriors. Wow. That's very nice. Six Warriors with three Hunters. That's pretty crazy. 
and two heartless. Does he have the... No, he doesn't have the thing that makes them heartless. So he has... Who are the heartless that he has? Pudge, for sure. And... Oh, Drow. So the three hunters are Drow, Medusa, and... Wind Ranger, Medusa, couple scaled with slaughter. Human is Kunka and Lycan. And Savage, who's that? It's Tusk and who? This is close. He is gonna hold though. Oh, and over here, he won the attack as well, but Tusk and Lycan are savage. This is a really nice combo that he has going. I might try that someday. Very, very nice combo. And then he has the savage tooth and claw for 10 Damage is second bleed, and the hunters that deal 10% extra damage for each other hunter attacking the same target. He also has some nice items. Daedalus, Boots of the Martyr, not fantastic. Mask of Madness is really good on Drow, Battle Fury, Sacred Relic. Yeah, he has some nice items. Uh, let's look at this board. Because I'm guessing that this board will be the game winner. Well, he's actually holding this time. Black Ice. They both held. I think. Yeah, they both held. Huh, weird. Okay. Alright. He just got a three-star draw. That'll help him. 205 damage per second. That's pretty good. 190 on her with Daedalus. Yeah. It's a tough lineup. Tough lineup. Let's see damage. Medusa, look at that. Jesus. Wind Ranger. Wow. He did lose. Dragon Knight. Wow. 6,000. But he did win over here, so he is the winner. Alright. Okay. I do like the elusive alliance though. I really do. Okay. And how much did we evade? We evaded 400 attacks. So we can claim this and get the good prospects. Tastefully adorn your standard with prospecting tools. Okay. And I have that there. Unfortunately, we can't do anything yet. Okay, and we're almost to level 5, or more than halfway to level 5, so that's pretty nice. We don't land a whole lot of critical attacks, but we'll get there. But that is going to be all for this time, guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.